These weapons weren't incredibly reliable. So often pirates would carry two of them, or three of them, or four of them at a time. And oftentimes that was done with ribbons around the neck tied to the back of the weapon here. So you could have two weapons that you could bring up and shoot. And another two weapons you can bring up there too. Are they trying to get us to come? Don't worry, I'll let you know before I do something. You don't have to worry about it. But they you don't. You can see that I wrote a powder here into yes. the powder pan. And now we'll put a little down here into the barrel. Normally, if I was shooting this, no, no, no. to injure somebody, Why are they with, like fish? I would have a now the lead ball that would go in here with a little bit of wadding behind it. And out would come this ramrod. And I would ram that home. And the weapon's now ready to fire. So let's say we're clambering onto someone else's ship here. Now is the time to cover your ears. That's what we've been able to do in the modern times. We don't have to rely on a stone to make our weapon go off anymore. It's really only good for one shot. So that's that it was turned into a club. It could also be used to block a sword with, like this. A good example of this is in the movie The Patriot. If you get a chance to see that towards the end, you see a very good example of how these weapons were used in fighting. Basically, you block the sword stroke and then come up under here. But you can use this all kinds of other ways. It makes a very handy club. Thank you. French or English muskets of the period. Muskets like this were used a couple hundred years. When Lock smoothed for muskets, they were standard. Rifles weren't popular. Black powder fouled rifling too badly until about the time of the Civil War. So smooth bore, 75 caliber. Fire one ball. You could load it with buckshot. You could load it with birdshot. You could load it with whatever you had at hand. A good trained infantryman of the period could get off about three shots a minute. Mommy. You ever saw the movie The Last of the Mohegans? You see American Indians doing nothing but throwing powder down the barrel and then spitting a ball down unpatched and slamming the butt on the ground. That actually happened. That was done by a lot of British soldiers too who fought on the frontier. They could get off five or six shots a minute that way. They never touched a ramrod. But it was a close range proposition. Mommy, is it still giving muskets? You get out to about 100 yards with a weapon like this, you'd be lucky to score a hit. Naval warfare, a lot of these were shortened into carbines, but there were also infantry weapons aboard ships. A lot of the time they were used to take out officers or to take out people on deck. Fired, these were fired from the rigging or from the up on the mast with snipers. Okay, ready? <laughs> this year. If uh, Fenris doesn't kill her, she might have a very nice uh, future ahead of her. <laughs> Don't mess with him. <laughs> Dope.
Very nice. You don't have to do anything other than reach out and touch someone. Sometimes you touch your own self, and, you know, that smarts just a little bit. But they did use whips, especially if you were good at it. You could fling it out, grab a hold of a pistol, and jerk it in, as well as the hand that's holding it. Very nice. But it's the cat and nine tails that held so much respect. What would happen if a, a captain would find someone who probably didn't do his chores well, or he just didn't like the guy at all, and he would grab him, hey, this is an idea, why don't we do one of these? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think no. Hey, let's grab someone. <laughs> grab him. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm not getting for him. He's a little boy. Okay, so what would the captain do if he didn't like this guy? He would. Ah! She's in such a hurry. I am. He would take his shirt off, rip it off his body. In the meantime, he'd be begging. He'd be begging. Just begging. No, don't. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> Now, if you hated this guy, what would you do as a captain? Dip it in salt water. Salt water is a good one. Oh, carry on. Ladies and gentlemen,